Hello and what is going on guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner on Rock Runner's Mud Park map and today our focus is the bounty hole. Now the reason why this thing is our focus today is because as unsuspecting as it may look, this mud is really deep, like really, 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 really deep. Now, with that being said, we're going to be taking the three vehicles that we brought along for a run through that hole and we're going to be doing sort of a small versus medium versus huge. And we're going to see which one performs the best. Now, a lot of you are probably going, well, obviously the monstrosity is going to perform the best. It's got the biggest tires. That's not actually as accurate as you might think. I mean, yes, it has the biggest tires, but that doesn't always equate to better performance in the mud. So we're going to start with the smallest vehicle and build up from there. So let's go ahead and start up the Ranger and head to the other side so we can go ahead and run it. Now, I'm personally thinking that uh, that the Ranger is going to do well. I don't know how the Jeep's going to do. The Gladiator is the Gladiator is sort of the wild card here because I've never driven it uh, in this mud hole. I've never driven it in this mud hole at all. Now, the I've never actually driven the Monstrosity through this particular mud hole before, but I've been sort of I've been in multiplayer with someone that has, and it was okay, but it wasn't incredible. So, with that being said, run number one, three. Two, one, go! Whoa, and that's where your uh, your momentum stops. Because once the mud gets to a certain, like, once it gets to a certain thickness, this thing just stops dead in its tracks. Oh, low two is actually slightly faster. Ever so slightly faster. It works, though. It definitely doesn't have to, uh... It doesn't have to struggle. I mean, it's it's kind of slow, but it definitely doesn't have to struggle with it. Come on, Ranger. God, that is deep. That is so freaking deep. Holy crap, dude. I would legitimately be terrified to drive a truck into mud this deep. Even if I had, like, a fully set up mud truck, I would still be terrified to drive something into mud this deep. Because, I mean, mud breaks things. Mud gets inside differentials. Mud gets inside axle seals. And then mud gets inside hubs. And mud gets inside... Mud gets inside everything. And then causes it all to break. I would be terrified to drive in here. Ah, uh, we got a little bit of a glitcherino going on over there. But we're not gonna... We're not gonna worry too much about that. That, uh, it's not happening. It's definitely not happening. Okay. So, with that being said, the Ranger actually did a pretty dang good run. A better than I expected it to, actually. So let's go ahead and get that one stopped. We're gonna jump in the Gladiator now and try it out because I have never run this thing here. I actually haven't driven this thing in a long time, so I'm very curious as to how it's gonna do. The fact that it has rear steer might give it an advantage, but I... Mm, it depends. I don't know. Alright, boys, time for the gladiator, uh, well, I almost said gladiator monster, it's more like a, well, I almost said normal gladiator, it's not a normal gladiator, monster, mega, whatever you want to call it. Alright, three, two, one, go! Full yeet! Went a pretty good ways, oh my god, that's this thing in low two. Dude, look how fast it is! Look how much faster it is than the ranger, oh my god! That's like, that's not fair. Holy crap. This thing literally is just like, meh, no worries. I'll just go straight through it. Wow. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought the game was going to crash there for a second. I was like, ah, no. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that, please. Good God, that thing is dumb. Holy crap. Like, I had no idea it was anywhere close to that good. That is, that is ridiculous. I'm actually kind of curious because I wonder if I can, well. Okay, so low two and low three are the same exact speed. I wanted to run it again because I was like, ah, uh, I don't know if these are going to be, well. So you might as well leave it in low three. I mean, oh, well, no, okay. In the really deep, thick mud. Low 2 is actually just a teeny tiny bit faster. Like a very, very small amount. But it is a little bit faster. So now, we're going to go ahead and jump in the monstrosity. 
and see what that thing does in this mud hole. So, I think that the... I think that the monstrosity is going to come out somewhere in the middle. Like, right now, I'm sort of thinking that the Jeep is going to be the fastest. But I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of on the fence about it, actually. Now, the only thing about the monstrosity's run is that we're not going to be able to even get it remotely close to high. So, that's fine. I'm going to start at low three. Let's go. Oh my god, it's spinning like crazy. It's... I mean, it's definitely not as fast as the Jeep. I want to say it's just a... T it feels a teeny bit faster than the Ranger, but that could just be, like, an illusion because of how gigantic it is. And, I mean, it could actually be just as fast as the Jeep, but again, it could also be an illusion. Driving up the excavator, no big deal. Like, no big deal whatsoever. Driving right up the excavator. So, with that being said, I have a feeling that... I mean, it, which one would I take back into the mud? Uh, the Gladiator. The Gladiator mud truck is absolutely insane. Now, I'm gonna actually throw it into the big mud pit and see what it could do in there because... It, oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on. Yeeted. Dude, normally, trucks are not this fast in here. Normally, this bogs down everything. I mean, I took the um the Titan mud truck in here, and, I mean, it was quick up until you got out into the middle, and it slowed way down. This, not even a hint of it. Not even remotely a hint of it. Oh, God. Our dude has gone a bit wacky there. I almost forgot. While we're here, we need to try something. Now, if you caught the live stream the other day, you'll know what we were doing with the jump towards the left side of the map. We were trying to clear it completely with whatever vehicle we had at hand. Now, the whole reason why I want to try something a little bit different with it is because, and, the, and also the reason why I feel like now is a perfect opportunity, is because we have, we have some really, really hilariously fast trucks. Especially this thing. And I, for one, am very curious to see what would happen if we flung both of these things off of this jump together at full throttle. Oh, go! Go! Oh, my God. Well, it sort of pulled me down just a tad. Just a tad. I think we're still attached to it as well. I think we're just like... Oh, no, we are attached to it, because it's driving in the general direction we're trying to go. Hang on. Before we... Before... Wait a minute. Before we go much further... I'm shutting this thing off. Getting back in the Blue Ranger, which for some reason is moving, to, like, towards the middle of the water. I have no idea why. For some reason, it's moving towards the middle of the water. Uh, we are going to also... I'm also going to show you guys a quick jump. That, y'all, I, I could spend, put it this way, I could spend way too much time on this jump, and I didn't really have a, there wasn't really, like, a sort of, there, there wasn't really, like, a way for any of these jumps to be their own video, so that's why I'm sneaking it in at the, at the end of this video, and if you line yourself up, sort of to, like, a little bit towards the right of this dead tree right here, Right here. If you do it right, you'll go between those trees and launch off of the hill and basically launch yourself into space. So let's see if we can make that happen. Yes! Yes! I mean, it almost worked. It almost worked, right? I, sort of, kind of, almost. Sort of, kind of, almost, maybe. Let's try that one more time. Oh, my God. Let's also turn all-wheel drive off because if we have all-wheel drive on, it when the power hits, the whole truck, like, the whole truck freaks out and skates sideways. I wonder what would happen if I tried it over here. Let's say I'm not going to hit a tree. Oh, God. Successful backflip? Um, not, well, not quite. Not quite a successful backflip, but almost. 
problem now is we end up having to go all the way back. Well, not all the way, but like back through the bounty hole to get back out again. I wish you could drive that excavator. I so wish you could drive that excavator. I mean, it literally like bothers me so much that you can't drive it. Come on, up over that guardrail. Thank you. Whoop. You know, that would have been really good had it not stalled. Oh! Every time it, you try to send it up that hill, it'll basically like... It's almost like it it freaks out and tries to go backwards. There is, uh, there is just a little spot up here to chill, but like... I don't really know what the point of this spot is. I mean, it's like, it's just a random spot. Like, up at the top of the hill in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's there, there's nothing up there. It's just there. Oh, God. I do want to find one more good... Oh, you know what? Yeah, if we're talking about finding one more good jump. Yes. Those jumps, I just usually stay flat. So I can get... Oh, maybe? Yes! Yes, that's... Wow, that's... Okay, that's the kind of... That's the kind of jump I wanted to finish with. If we can actually finish... With a jump like that, and also, more importantly, if we could actually land jumps like that more often, where we actually land a sort of successful trick. Yeah, that would be really cool. The only problem with that is, we don't usually land jumps that are, like, anywhere close to, uh, that are anywhere close to, tr like, tricks like that. We Usually what happens when we do tricks like that is the truck ends up, like, flipping onto its lid. And that's not my goal. Usually, if I can end up getting it onto its wheels, I will. Like, I'll try to get it onto its wheels. But it doesn't always happen. So, if you guys have any thoughts, comments, or opinions, leave them down in the comments section below. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And also, click that like button. And I will see you all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.